Hakuna Matata. The weekend is here and we've got just the thing to do. Disney on Ice is in town for their Passport to Adventure show. This morning, CBS 58's Kyle Averman is giving you a look behind the scenes. He joins us live from the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Good morning, Kyle. Yeah, good morning, Jessica and Mike. This really is a great thing to do with the family. I want to bring in Mike from our... Nick. Nick, I knew that. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little brain fart hey, this it's morning. Okay, it's it's Friday, though, right? <laughs> That's right. Happy Friday. Welcome to Milwaukee. You're with Disney on Ice. Tell us a little bit about the Passport to Adventure show. For sure. Happy Friday. Disney on Ice presents Passport to an Adventure is like a family vacation like no other. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, of course, Goofy is going to take us to South Africa and meet up with your favorites from The Lion King. Um, travel to Neverland with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. We're going to dive under the sea with the characters from The Little Mermaid. And last but not least, trek up the North Mountain with your favorite characters from Frozen. And we're so excited to bring Frozen here this year because it's a first for Disney on Ice in Milwaukee to have the Frozen storyline. Very cool. What is your favorite part about um, the show? You know, what I love is walking out into the house and hearing all the crowd sing. Uh, they love the show, seeing the smiles on the little ones' faces. Even my grandparents came last week and they were j just as giddy as the little ones. It was a lot of fun. Definitely. You guys have six shows uh, from starting tonight now, through uh, Sunday. Sunday, right? that's right. And great seats are still available at DisneyOnIce.com. Perfect. We also have a link to that on our website, CBS58.com, under the News Links tab. Right now, we're going to show you one of the performances, Akuta Matata, one of uh, our producer Kendall's favorite songs, <laughs> Disney awesome. songs of all time. So uh, let's take it away. Yeah, here it is. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no peasant craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Love that. That's such a good song. What a great family event this weekend. Fantastic. A couple, oh my I saw a couple gosh. people too who went last night and got the slushies. So fun oh, as a really? kid to get the slushies. Mm -hmm. And then the parents are like, how much do those cost? Who cares? Should I tell you? It was like 13 or $14, Who I think. Who cares? But you have to do it's it. family fun. Because those are the memories that you remember forever. Exactly. You get all that sugar in you, you sing all afternoon, and then you crash and take a great nap later. Yes, that's, that's good. That's how it works. Good point. <laughs> Stay close. We're back with entertainment news. Right. Looking ahead this morning, magic in the air. Disney on Ice is performing at the uh, BMO Harris Bradley Center this weekend. Yes, and the show transports you right into the middle of your favorite Disney movies. CBS 58's Kyle Averman gives you a sneak peek this morning, live from Never Never Land. That's a first, Kyle. Yeah, who doesn't love Never Neverland, right? Yeah, we are here at Disney on Ice at the BMO Harris Bradley Center, joined by one of the performers, Brennan. Good morning, Brennan. Good morning, how are you doing? Good. How long have you been uh, skating with Disney on Ice? Uh, this is my 11th year with Disney on Ice. What makes it so special? Uh, the thing that keeps me coming back is just seeing everyone's reaction. I mean, it's not just the children you see enjoying themselves. You see the parents, the grandparents, teenagers, the younger kids. Everyone has a good time. They're up dancing, singing along to their favorite songs. So the, for, for the folks that come out here uh, this weekend, what can they anticipate to see? So uh, Disney on Ice presents Passport to Adventure. We have four uh, classic stories that uh, everyone knows and loves. So we start off with The Lion King and then we travel uh, to Neverland with uh, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. And then we go under the sea with Little Mermaid and finally we go up the North Mountain and visit Anna and Elsa and Olaf and the story of Frozen. Perfect. Well, we have a performance here for you from Never Neverland and the Lost Boys. We'll let them take it away.
awesome is that? Pretty cool. Yeah. Great job, guys. Uh, BMO Harris Bradley Center. The tickets are still available. We have a uh, link on our website, cbs58.com. Just hit the news links tab. Reporting live from Never Neverland at the BMO Harris Bradley Center, Kyle Averman, CBS 58 News. Oh, fantastic. And the neat part about this show, I think, is that you're seeing so many of your favorite Disney movies. Right. It's not just one. So there's something for everybody. And then you get really excited when, you know, they come out for your favorite one. I mean, Peter Pan, it's pretty old. And then they have uh, Frozen as well. So Peter Pan is everybody. not old. Peter Pan never grew up. Okay, the know, movie Peter. Yeah, yeah, all right. No, Peter Pan is <laughs> such a classic. Oh, good stuff. And more coming up and fun to do with the family this weekend. Look no further. Disney and Ice is in town. They are performing their Passport to Adventures show at the BMO Harris Bradley. Center all weekend long, and CBS 58 Kyle Averman is under the sea this morning with a preview. Good morning, Kyle. Yeah, good morning, Mike and Jessica. We've been having a lot of fun out here this morning. I want to bring in one of the ensemble cast members, Alicia. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. Welcome to Disney on Ice Passport to Adventure. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. You said you have a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. We have so many parts in this show. We have The Lion King, we have Peter Pan, The Little Mermaid, Frozen. We literally have everything you could ever want. What's your favorite part about the show? Actually, it is right now The Little Mermaid, Daughters of Triton. What makes it so special? The colors are great. It's like seeing Ariel's sisters, all different clamshells. You have Flounder, Sebastian, like in this section. So it's really cool. Just really lively, energetic. In the show, we have bubbles. So really fun, exciting. Number. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. So can you describe before they perform, what are they going to be performing this morning for us? They're going to be forming, performing Daughters of Triton, which is Ariel's sisters. So they're dancing. They're having fun under the sea, but Ariel is not there. All right, well, let's take it away. We'll let you uh, take a closer look. Tickets still available on their website. Uh, we have it linked on our website, cbs58.com. And right now, I, Maestro Sebastian, proudly present the Daughters of Triton. And the first is Aquata. Oh, 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 oh. And Andrina. Like, this was one of my favorites <laughs> as a kid. This this was a specific song? Well, not this specific song yeah. necessarily, but uh, The Little Mermaid. A little biased, you know, I think I liked the redhead as a yeah, kid growing I, up. I could that relate. Makes, that makes perfect sense to me. Although, I mean, I'm not redheaded, but I know all the words <laughs> to all of the songs, so. It's such a good one. I feel like I need a fork to fix my hair right now. Do you remember yeah. how she did that? She the, took the, the fork and just... Yeah, the thingamabobs. Yeah, right. yeah, I know what you're talking about. This is awesome, <laughs> though, because here's the thing. So maybe Little Mermaid isn't your favorite, but you love Beauty and mm -hmm. the Beast. That's the best part about this show is that you're going to get to see scenes from all those good ones. And we're not done with Disney on Ice yet this oh, morning. No, no, no. We're going